Scientists have determined that inside our Earth, there are separate and distinct layers, and that each layer has different properties. In this video, we will learn about how scientists actually know what the layers of the Earth are based on collected evidence. So geologists in the past were faced with an issue. How can we prove what is inside the Earth? For a very long time, it was thought the Earth was made entirely out of rock, just like on the surface. Still others believed the Earth was hollow. To date, the deepest we have been able to dig into the Earth is 7.5 miles, and the deepest humans have descended into the Earth is about 2 miles. Much beyond that, the temperature and pressure increased to the point where scientific instruments can no longer function and humans would die. The most obvious answer to this question seems that the Earth is entirely made up of rock. If it is rock on the surface, then shouldn't it be rock inside? However, evidence began mounting up that there was more than just solid rock inside the Earth. While humans and scientific instruments can't move deep into the Earth, seismic waves can. Every time an earthquake happens, regardless of where it happens, it releases waves of energy that ripple through the Earth. These are called seismic waves. These waves spread outwards across the Earth from the point at which the earthquake happened, as you can see in this animation. Note that seismic waves are not colored, they are simply energy. There are two types of seismic waves. P waves are short, fast-moving waves that move ahead of larger, more destructive waves. They move through solids and liquids. Whereas S waves are slower moving, but more destructive. They send the Earth moving up and down. S waves cannot move through liquid material. All across the world, scientists have set up stations which can detect these seismic waves as they move through the Earth. Instruments called seismographs, which you can see at the top left, detect these waves. The map you see here shows recorded locations of earthquakes across the globe. As scientists began recording waves from earthquakes, they started noticing a pattern. It seemed as though the destructive S waves could not travel directly through the Earth. They could make it to the right and left from the earthquake, but not through. Scientists knew that the S waves could not travel through a liquid and concluded that the liquid core must be blocking these waves. Further studies with these seismic waves have shown that the layer of the Earth just below the crust is not entirely liquid or solid itself, but rather a semi-liquid mixture of both. The speed and the angle of waves are recorded and it shows what the layer is made up of. 